Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the Lightroom link. Now, in a previous video, I discussed how to set up the Lightroom link. You need to install the software, of course, and you need to have Green Screen Wizard 9.0, and then you have to assign external editors in Photoshop or Lightroom. So what is an external editor? Well, Lightroom is a great program for organizing your photos and for doing kind of cool photo effects, but it really doesn't have any built-in editing capability. And the designers of Lightroom said, well, rather than complicate Lightroom, we'll just find an easy way to let it connect to Photoshop. And so they created this concept of the external editor. Well, we're going to take advantage of that concept and create an external editor for green screen photos, in this case, Green Screen Wizard. Now we could have just um, written some software that invoked Green Screen Wizard directly and passed it a parameter. However, every time we edited a photo, we would have to restart and reinitialize all the Green Screen Wizard software. And the startup cost of Green Screen Wizard is pretty high, so we didn't want to do that. So what we wanted to do is create a little, what, I, what we call the Lightroom link, which is a program that checks to see if Green Screen Wizard is running and if it is, if it is not, it will start Green Screen Wizard. If it is, it simply passes the photo on. And uh, it's very efficient, as you'll see in a second. So let's see. So I happen to know that we have a swimsuit background that's up. So to use this link, you right click, you ch pick Edit In, and we're going to use it as a foreground since, since it is the green screen photo. We're going to save it as a um, with the adjustments, and boom, that's all there is. You're in Green Screen Wizard. It's all edited. You can, you know, move it around or do whatever you want with it. Um, but we notice you can you can do anything you can do in Green Screen Wizard at this point. You can do to this photo, including edit it. So, for example, we have a little glitch here. So we'll pop in the editor. Uh, we'll do a copy make it a little smaller. I have to set up an anchor. And then, voila, all fixed. So we could save and exit, but we're going to use the Back to Lightroom. And there it is. So that's the full cycle. And now you have, uh, you can enhance this photo. It's just now a new photo in Lightroom. Now I can also change the background. So if we go to Johnny Moore's photos here, and let's pick a nice background. You can say, edit in Green Screen Wizard as a background. And it'll replace the background. Now replacing the background, you can't go back to, to Lightroom directly. You have to just save it. And um, so that's basically what uh, how, how to use the uh, the tool? I think it's um, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm not a big or I'm new to Lightroom, uh, but now that I see how easy it is to organize my photos in Lightroom and how easy it is then to pop over to uh, Green Screen Wizard, uh, I'll probably be using Lightroom a lot more. I hope you choose Green Screen Wizard as your Lightroom editor and Green Screen removal program. Thanks for watching.